could have so easily missed this opportunity to see the sunset in Fanal. So easy to, to make it sound like it was too hard, but it wasn't convenient. What are, what are we doing this video for? You know, we, we wanted to make something beautiful and cinematic, something that would be inspiring and moving to people. So I thought, why not try and make some epic motivational film in like, you know, two hours or something. Let's push Andrea to the absolute limits and let's be a little bit out of the box, a little bit uncomfortable. So we were trying to do things today that we haven't done for a while, things that we um, wanted to show you already for a while now. But at the same time is how can we do that getting out of our comfort zone as, as fast and as much as possible. And I think that's the kind of thing that, that's calling me nowadays and when it comes to missed opportunities because it's so easy to say, ah, oh, uh, you know, I wish I had done this or I wish I had done that. You know, it's much harder to just grab it and say, what do we want to do right now? And how do we fix the moment right now? And how do you have the courage to do that? And you have the courage to jump on something and, and, and say yes without even knowing the answer, uh, without actually even, um, you know, way, knowing where you're supposed to be. So when I think of missed opportunities, I think of, of the opportunities that I took not to do that, right? So there's the price, kind of the price you don't pay. Uh, you know, when you're paying the price of not taking your opportunities, I've been thinking a lot about the price, the price you don't pay. Uh, you know, there's the, the saying of, uh, you are what you don't eat. Uh, you're also, you also are the opportunities that you don't take. So the opportunities to relax, to chill out, uh, to be comfortably numb. One of my favorite uh, kind of uh, quotes these days, comfortably numb, when people are just comfortably numb in their own space and don't step out. Uh, to grab that opportunity and to make their lives better even if it's just a little bit because a little bit today a little bit tomorrow uh, and that's where the best opportunities find you i see people who who want want to have everything figured out before they've actually figured it out you know people who want uh, who want a definite plan for a definite goal and i'm just thinking that in most times you don't need that like far far vision you just want to see what are you doing today because one day's progress turns into two days progress turns into five days progress turns into 10 20 15. so it's sometimes better just to focus on the now and how do you fix the moment you want to fix the life fix the moment if you feel fat go to the gym if you feel broke go and make some money if you uh, you feel like you need some energy, get out there and get some sun. Uh, if you feel like you need some social life, get out there and make, uh, make connections, get in touch with the people that you love and the people that you haven't seen in a while. Uh, you know, fixing the moment uh, is what's going to get you moving, you know. This is a great excuse for us to come out here and film some beautiful scenery with our new gear. And of course, these opportunities have presented themselves to us today to do it today. Uh, if we didn't do it today, then we'd have to find another day to do it. And maybe the opportunity wouldn't come. Maybe today's opportunity wouldn't come a few days later. Oscar, how are we doing? You want to put that drone in the air? Where are you from, Oscar? On the island? From where on the island? San George. So it's our first drone pilot that's not from Comrade Lobos. Let's, uh, let's hope that's a good sign. Think we're gonna make it, Andre? 
It's looking good. So I had to have a little bit of work done on this guy and uh, just double check in if we're going to make it home. It's going to happen. Should we finish off this video? Let's go finish off the video, Andre. Part of not missing any opportunities is understanding that the opportunities that are presented to you uh, in front of you right now uh, may not actually even look like opportunities. Might not be the thing you wanted, might not be the place you wanted to be, might not be the job you wanted, might not be the time you wanted, whatever. You know, the opportunity that is there in front of you is much more important than the opportunity that you think you want. All right, so I got into this business by mistake. Uh, everything that we are doing here is a little bit by mistake. The only reason we have Andrea and Oscar with us and Popsec and a new cinema grade camera is because uh, we took a step in the direction um, of which was the pandemic. You know, trying to get out of that uh, and just going day by day. So I'm a very, very thankful and grateful person uh, for having all the opportunities that I have around me at all times. And um, without any further delay, I want to take you over there so that we can finish this vlog off um, with an opportunity to say thank you uh, to one of our Polish subscribers and Polish uh, watchers, viewers. But I want to say thank you to the person who sent me this Zubrovka. <laughs> Zubrovka. 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 I don't want to sound Russian. Uh, there is good things coming for both of us, my friend. So welcome to Madeira. And thank you for this bison um, grass vodka. So I don't know if it's made by the grass that the bison eat uh, and I think that there's actually some grass inside the bottle. Oscar, do you want to give us that light? Let's see if we can we see any grass. I see. There's a thing of of grass in there. There, there is. So yes, there is. And uh, it's funny, the guy who gave me this bottle told me that it goes really well with apples and pears. And all I've been seeing lately is apples and pears. Is it a sign? You know, is it a sign when it's you see one apple, okay, and you see another apple, and you see another apple. We got some Brisa Massin to make it Madeiran, some apple, uh, apples, uh, 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 lemon apple, lemonade apple. That's, that's, that's how, this is what happens after a 14 hour day. Lemonade apple is what we're drinking. I'm just thinking if we should put like a little bit of Brisa in it, hey? Eh? I don't, I don't really want to offend anybody. I'm going to have a little sip to see what it's like. Ooh, nah. it's quite strong. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if, I hope I'm not, tell me if this is good. You're going to be the guinea pig this time. Chat, 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 chat. Yeah. It's not bad. No, it's not it's bad. It's not bad. It's good. And on that bombshell, uh, Oscar and Andrea. Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. Yeah. Let's hit the road. Yeah. Let's hit the road. Mr. Gaffer.